What's going on, Moogle Mouse? Back in City Skylines. Let's play Season 12, Episode Number 3. And we're going to do one more episode, kind of building out some of the, the basic grid infrastructure. There's a rock right in the middle of the road. I'm, I'm pretty sure that wasn't there. I'm pretty sure they appear and they are just going to be a plague, but but that's okay. Because I, I, I'm 99% sure. They, more rocks. Okay. Whatever. All right. Um, okay. So... One little thing I wanted to do is kind of start to think about breaking up this this grid. Um, and one of the ways that you do that is by building off of, you know, different areas. A lot of times roads will follow things like highways like we've done here. Right. And and loose enough, this kind of goes along that same line. But, uh, you know, when we get over here and we start to have a coastal road, like roads might be tucked in behind that. And same thing over here. You know, in fact, this is what I want to do today is this. Uh, west side of the island so a couple things we'll have to do for that but we're going to start breaking our grid off in a slightly different way as we go further and further south and towards the coasts that's not necessarily going to be the case up here so we are going to grid this out a bit and move in another pocket uh, of people uh, but there's a couple things that i want to get to today and number one is over here on what we're going to call uh west beach at least for now if you get a better name let me know in the comments down below uh so we'll move these regular right good old-fashioned way that costs money it's only 500 bucks to move that uh, let's also move this and kind of get it out of the way up there is fine for now um, and we may as well move this one up on top of the hill we're gonna get rid of these I don't want like the highest the highest peak well I guess that's the highest peak I don't want the highest thing in my map to be windmills you know they don't look out of place there but they're not necessarily what we're looking for. Okay, so people are complaining about water because because we've disconnected the power from those. So let's just go like that for now. Keep it away from where we're building. Uh, and then let's see. Can I just run this? I'm going to run this along the highway for now. Like that. A little more expensive than it needs to be. Um, the more direct you can run, the better. But that should tell everybody that... Uh, the, oh, wait. Oh, no, 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 no. I was going to say that should tell everybody that the water is good to go, but it is most definitely not because we haven't connected the pipes back in. So let's do a little bit of redundancy here. We'll get the coastline. Let's do 400. That's fine. Connect that in. Make sure we're doing all the uh, the coastal area. And then what if we do that? Just got a little bit of whatever. Good enough. Okay, now people won't complain about water now that we've moved it. So the other thing that this is going to do is is as this water flow happens, you can actually see there's a, a good amount of water rushing through here. So this should it's actually going to push our sewage out really fast. Hold on a second. Let's uh, let's get a look at that. So. It's nice that it's kind of dissipating by the time it gets to these beautiful beaches over here. But we're definitely going to fix that. But it's nice because this is already pushing out of our bay. Um, that is today's project. So uh, what is this? Not enough workers? Not enough workers because we don't have enough people living here. So let's pause it for a minute. And let's figure out how we're going to get this coastal road in. Now, here's where I'm going to cheat as far as console players are concerned. And we are going to use a mod here. But I'm going to show you how we can kind of do this without... But, but ultimately, I am going to do it with. So let's say we wanted, you know, kind of our, our road that kind of goes up through here and just kind of hits the edge of the, the beach area, right? Um, what you'll want to do is you'll want to probably flatten your terrain and make it a little bit lower than where you want to go because it's basically going to meet in the middle. Um, if you look at the zoning, right, to the extreme left, it goes uphill. To the extreme right, it goes downhill. And the road just kind of meets in the middle. It, it just kind of separates that distance. So uh, in order to achieve the effect that I'm about to, you're probably going to want to, well, it's tough to say. You might flatten a lot, you know, where the road is and then bring it up, bring it down on either side. Uh, I'm going to show you what, what I'm going to do, though. Again, this is something that you definitely could do if you mess around with it enough. Um, but we're just going to go the easier route and follow the road as close to the beach as we can. So let's do, you know, kind of a, like 
a straight shot to, to maybe there. That's fine. And then we'll do another one. Maybe to there, and then these can kind of hook into one another. So let's delete one segment there, one segment there. Let's curve. That curves in way too much. So let's come out another, another 10 before we do that. Now I could with move it just kind of shape that the way that I want, but deleting one extra segment and then rehooking it will help you get those more natural curves on console. So this, this road is way too tall for where we want the rest of the beach to be. Um, and again, you, you'll probably on console just have to kind of move things around and shimmy them around a lot more. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the nodes. We're going to bring them all down to an equal height. So we're going to keep the, the, the relationship, right? There's that little dip there. We're keeping that relationship the same because we're lowering everything equally. So we'll get a little dip down here, a little raise. Maybe we can bring this one, that one down just a little bit, kind of help smooth things out here. And then I want to grab my smoothing brush. Now on console, you don't have the option to change the size as granularly, the shape and all that. Uh, but you have these same tools, just different brush sizes, small, medium, and large. So what I want to do here is a, with a smaller brush is extend this plateau where the road is. We'll change our height a little bit as we go because the road changes height a little bit as it goes. Um, and then with a bigger brush size and a smoothing tool, you know, how does, how does this work, right? So that flattens it out a little bit. We'll go back to our flatten with a smaller brush size, right? And we want to extend out from here, right? We're just trying to nudge it and push that, that sharp edge down towards the water a little bit. Okay. Now the other thing that we can do is if you do that same technique again, right? Extend just a little bit beyond where you want to go. We're going to get it eventually. We can use the slope tool with a larger brush, a huge brush. Undo that one, right? Okay, now we'll smooth it out. All right, we can see underwater too. It's actually lagging my game a little bit to do that. But eventually we're getting a smoother and smoother slope that we're looking for. And it's okay if it's a little bit rockier and rougher off towards the edge of the strip. So this needs to come down a bit. Let's do that. I think that could work. It's not, you know, it's not perfect, but it's certainly good enough for us to get our start. Now, one more time I'm going to level because if you look right here, right, we don't have even zoning on this road. So what I'm going to do is come into the level tool we will flatten along the road, changing our height so that it's, you know, equal with the road that we're flattening to. Well, we'll zone in and then we'll kind of smooth up the hill a little bit like that. That should keep all our zoning kind of where we want it. So if we look now at the roads, so see, we still have this distorted, um, this distorted zoning. And what we can do here is if we upgrade the roads or change them in any capacity, um, that will update the zoning that is attached to them. Now you can, there's a, a like a button to do that or, or a mod to do that on PC. 
Um, I don't even know what it is, but that's how you can do it is by upgrading and then downgrading a segment causes that to recalculate the, uh, the zoning on there. Okay. Now we are paused. We're going to zone all on this side of the strip. So we're not going to zone on the actual beach side because that's where we want people to go to the beach and, and check out the wonderful sights of the beach here on Hanu. Um, <laughs> don't worry about that. It'll be fine. We'll hide that later. So we'll come back down to roads and we had our one ways here and freeform. Actually, let's just connect that right in and then we'll come over here and do something like that. It's a little lumpy. If we're concerned, we can always update it later. I wonder if we make this bi-directional for people to turn around and come in here or if we just dezone this one. I think we just dezone this one strip. We could have people kind of cruising around. They can park and walk across the street. That's fine. Okay, so we've got a, a zone defined, uh, or some zoning, I should say. Um, what we want to do here, though, is our first tourist area. So let's look at our zoning specialization specifically for commercial. And a little while ago, we unlocked tourism, which dedicates the commercial zones to serve tourists by providing hotel accommodations, restaurants, and other activities, causes noise pollution, attracts tourists. So be very careful with your uh, definitely noise pollution. You don't want to sit this too close to a residential area, especially. I'm going to call this West Beach for now. Hit me up in the comments if you got something better. But that is our West Beach. I was going to do a South Beach. And then everything else will, will have some sort of name. Uh, I forgot to name this in the last episode, but I think I also forgot to explain the title of the last episode, but Oahu means gathering place, or I, I guess loosely translated. Uh, so I thought our first park that is kind of central would be good to call gathering place. And then I forgot to name it. That's one of the things that we did in the last episode. Okay. So we've got, let's see, electric should extend once we hit uh, play. There we go water we're doing all right and we've got a decent amount of commercial demand which should fill in pretty quick but don't mind the flooding that will subside pretty quickly here we go speaking of um so how do we get some more zones in here well we want to have minimal intersections when we can but we definitely want to support a lot of traffic through here i'm going to turn off I'm going to turn off the day night for now. So normal or off cycle. Get a little bit of afternoon shadow. So we're connecting to this spot, which already had to so get that out of there that already had an intersection. And then where do we want to kind of tie into this street, right? It didn't have to be directly across from the park, uh, but it could be if we wanted to have, you know, another cut through through here, we could do that. And then can we get that one square of overlap? So we do something like that. And we can make this pretty dense through here. Lag. Okay. We unlocked some park objects. Did my road go in the right spot? It did. Game did not know what to do there when it was trying to tell me about the lag. Okay. And that's an, an extra block of, uh, or we're one shy overlapping right there. Um, So let's do that. We'll kind of come through here with the same mentality. We'll connect a couple of these up. Let's go three before we connect this one to that node. I guess we should extend this all the way up to the coast. I 
So something like that. And then can we do, we'll come up over the edge of this hill a little bit. We get under the highway here. That would be awesome. Something's in the way no matter what. Okay, so now we're gonna fill in this space with residents. Back to the straight tool. this cut through let's have this cut through and let's upgrade this one so this can be where's our medium roads with trees let's do let's do a uh, four lane tree line street here and have this connect through some of the traffic down to this main did not mean to upgrade this segment so upgrade that one again <laughs> Okay, so what's going on here? Because I don't have Anarchy turned on. What a... What, whatever, game. Okay. Um, Alright, hold on. I will be right back. <laughs> Alright, I just... I used the tree brush. We'll, we'll put the trees back in after everybody... After everybody moves in. Because um, that was a mess. So, we want just a, a huge pocket of residential here. And, you know, do we move in people immediately on this side? I don't know. Do they live across the street from more commercial? Okay. Hold on a second. Uh, you know what we forgot to do? Is under district specializations tourism. I forgot to make that a tourist district. That's why I made that a district. So let's watch everything move out. Because they're not. Let's help them. Let's help them go a little quicker. Pretty sure that one's going to be a hotel, right? This one. Four Seasons Resorts. Well, resort. Four Seasons Resorts. It felt wrong when I said it, so I went back to see if it was spelled that way. And it is. Maybe the chain is the Four Seasons Resorts. But this is definitely a Four Season Resort singular. And, and technically, it's the bulky gold beach, not even Four Seasons. So whatever. Uh, we've got people moving in here. How is our water coverage over this way? Great, except for when you get up here. But that's all connected and covered now. Ooh, we missed a, missed a little burner over here. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, we're trying to get to 4,200 population today to unlock Big Town which is really where I want to be for next episode. That's going to get us the uh, campus, but also especially the high density uh, commercial office instead of uh, industrial. And it uh, looks like we've got a power problem here. Oh no. Where is my coal power plant? Right here. The time for another one. Uh, budget wise. Okay, Electricity is all the way up. Uh, electric, another coal, back to back. Did that? What the heck is going on here? So I must have turned on some kind of anarchy because that just let me put that building down on top of the other buildings. Hey, okay. It's okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll, we're good. We don't have the helicopter depot yet, do we? I don't think we unlocked that yet. We did. Okay. Find a temporary spot for this ASAP. Yeah, I have some kind of anarchy turned on. So let's see.
Toggle road anarchy. Okay. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe it was the fine road tool, not even anarchy. I think I have, I might have two overlapping mods there. So hopefully that will fix some of our issues. We've got the not enough educated workers. We may as well do a quick scan on that because I bet we're going to need more. We really not need more elementary school. I mean, we need one over here just on principle, right? Because there isn't because there isn't one anywhere near this neighborhood. High school wise, we're doing great there as well. We just don't have a lot of people in this town yet. But that definitely is going to be necessary for uh, elementary coverage. Let's keep filling in over here. So, you know, maybe we don't zone them on this strip, right? Maybe we go, what, one, two, three, four back, and we leave two dead zones on the other side of the street. It's not the end of the world, you know? We can, having space is okay. Let's do what we did before, and we'll put a couple trees in over here. We'll have a footpath that comes back behind the school. To separate things out a bit. Maybe even a couple trees right there. Let's do that. So footpath. Heck, we can even connect that just for the heck of it. We'll come into trees and can we get, if we brush size down to single. Stagger a couple palms through here. And then maybe this uh, this palm bush, right? Let's do like five of those, kind of spread them out just a little bit. And see if we can tuck a couple palm trees in and out around them. Yeah, I think that will look okay once it starts to fill in. And then we're gonna come back in and, and cram some palm trees where we can uh, once everybody gets moved in. So now what about over here? This is not ideal, right? I wouldn't want to live back to back to the stores, but you know, some some parts you kind of you cram some stuff in. So one, two, three, four. We're going to do that. Now we'll do it right up to the edge of the, what is this? The, the child and the elder care centers. And we'll fill this in with some trees or some park paths that kind of cut through there. But I think that will give us a good start. So where are we at? We are at 4,065. We only need about another 150 uh, before we can unlock some of those large things. So we're starting to move some big stuff in. Uh, we haven't decorated any of the actual beachfront yet. We'll do some, some props and stuff and try and make it look a little lived in. Uh, maybe we can even make uh, some custom park objects later and cause uh, the Sims to actually... Uh, Kind of get together in that area right actually um it's a word i'm looking for uh big town not the word i'm looking for but it is our next big step so what are we getting we're getting a new area we're getting uh, campus areas if we want to start in on education which we probably should uh, it cluster which means that we have the ability to do high density uh, leisure specializations that works kind of like uh, tourism does except uh instead of uh, just doing noise. It does lots of noise and it's 24 seven. Uh, but this is the big one right here. High density, residential, commercial and office zoning. And that's really what I was waiting for before we came down here and started to work on, uh, on this. So let's just look real quick at areas. So if we buy this, this is going to be our next area. Let's just do it because This lets us now kind of continue this coastal road all the way around and really work on this segment of the island next. And, and this is really going to be a big step. This is going to be where we're going to kind of fit our Honolulu into. We're not going to get it all done in the next episode. We didn't even get all this done today in, in this small little chunk here. Um, but this is definitely going to be a next major big part, portion of the build. So we'll start in on that probably. I think the big downtown area will start in on next episode. So tune in for that. Don't miss that. That's going to be a fun part of this build. Um, one of the other things that we're going to have to figure out is most likely we might want a highway exit. Uh, I was trying to draw. We might want a highway exit somewhere over here. Or 
We might be able to improve this and do kind of a stack interchange instead of a coal relief to get traffic north, south, and obviously east, west on the existing highway. But we might have another exit coming to the north that feeds off into here. I still think we could use some more support um, exit wise over here because this is going to get very saturated. In fact, speaking of, look at that. It is getting very saturated. How can we kind of make this, you know, how can we do some things over here? Well, one of the things we can do, we've got these one ways. Uh, if it's a non decorated road, cars can park along the side of it. If we do something like a grass line street, cars cannot. And we still keep the one way approach there. So let's see, are people even parking? They are parking here. If we do that, notice no more parking lane. Cars can't park there. We will leave that one. And all these ones that are existing one ways, we're just going to upgrade those so cars can't park on them. Now, if we want to do the same thing, we can do that on this main drag. Some of the, the four lane objects won't allow for parking. Now, you could do that with traffic manager also. If you just wanted to turn off parking in cer certain segments, but we can't do that on consoles is why I like to go the route of the, the decorative roads instead just to give people some options. Okay. But I think that's a pretty good spot. We've got a lot of traffic that's kind of looping back around to go back into industry. Um, wow, I've got a lot of camera lag happening. So some weird stuff going on there. Uh, but we will continue to improve. This is not, you know, and I feel like it's worth mentioning. Um, again, right, this is not the final traffic flow. This is how we start our city and grow it. For some other creators out there, you know, they just turn on all the cheats and unlimited money and start building their perfect vision of a city, which is totally fine. It's not the way that I like to play the game, though. I actually like to play the game. I like the challenge, the build, the growth of a city, um, deciding those things on the fly, and then potentially moving a bunch of people out to bring a highway through a neighborhood because uh, it's the American way. It's how we built our cities up, um, which is why if you look at it on a map, it doesn't look like the highway was planned to go through the city. It literally cut down neighborhoods to be there. Um, now, that's not necessarily the case in, in Hawaii as much as it is in the continental U.S. since most of that expansion happened, um, I believe, prior... Most of the highway expansion in the U.S. happened prior to um, Hawaii becoming a state. So, you know, it's it's a little different. Honolulu, Honolulu is not known for having good traffic, and uh, apparently that's something we'll be able to replicate very easily here. But we'll do what we can so that it's not, you know, outrageously bad. But uh, in any event, I hope you're enjoying the ride. I hope you tune in for the next episode because it's going to be a fun one. We've got those high density zoning pieces unlocked. We're going to be able to move in a ton of people, a ton of businesses, and uh, start in on some offices. So we'll start framing out what will be our, you know, kind of Honolulu-esque downtown area. Uh, we'll start messing around with some stuff there. See what is on the, uh, the docket to unlock next. But uh, in the meantime, hopefully you are enjoying the ride. Likes, comments, and shares all help the channel a lot and are all so greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you're new and hit the bell to get notifications for updates in this and other series. I'm trying to post these Let's Plays every Wednesday and Saturday. We'll see how long I keep up with that schedule, but uh, I at the very least promise for one decent sized uh, let's play with some development in this city every single week. Um, and I might circle back with some other videos just on topics uh, that might be on PC might most likely be on console. Um, and there's always other games if I ever make time for them <laughs> and uh, might deliver you some content on those as well. So we'll keep tuning and tweaking and building the city out. Uh, stay tuned. It will be, a, you know, it's a growth process. Um, I've got to remember to work on some, uh, some park objects in the next episode because uh, we definitely unlock some of those, but we're not really making the most of our city. We'll see where we can improve traffic flow, but we will keep growing this city into something I think is going to end up being pretty remarkable, but I might be a little bit biased. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you'd like to support the channel, links to that and lots of other things in the description down below. But until the next one, which you don't want to miss, trust me, it's going to be a good one. Until then, this is Move the Mouse signing off.